on issues that insiders today we learn about a non-profit organization over in the US that seeks to offer people there the chance to indulge in Korean literary and musical compositions in hopes of fostering tangible cultural connections. Hello and welcome. It's Friday here in Korea and you're watching Issues and Insiders. I'm Min Sun Hee. Today we delve into the efforts of the Sejong Cultural Society over in the U.S. to promote cultural connections. For this, I have Director Lucy Park of the Society live on the line. Director Park, it's an absolute pleasure to have you with us. Thank you for having me. I also have Professor Lee Young from Boston Conservatory here in the studio. Professor Lee, it's a pleasure to have you here. I'm so happy to be here. Thank you for having me. Most welcome. Director Park, we'll start there in the U.S. Then let's begin off with an introduction about the Sejong Cultural Society. Yeah, Sejong Cultural Society is a non-profit organization based in Chicago. It was uh, established in 2004 by Korean immigrants. Seoul National University Alumni Association provided seed money to start this society. Our mission is to advance awareness and understanding of Korea's cultural heritage among people in the USA. Our main focus has been reaching out to the younger generations through contemporary creative and fine arts. Our target population has been those who are not adventurous enough to go to a traditional Korean music concert or read translated foreign literature. So we are using our Western media, English for literature and Western musical instruments such as piano and violin to introduce elements of Korean culture. So it is not just American youth. There are a large number of Korean American descendants who belongs to this category. The secondary goal is uh, transplanting the Korean culture in the American culture. Korean themed music becomes part of American musical work, and Korean history and literature becomes genre of uh, poetry and literature in this country. Right, I see. And I understand some of your main projects are actually competitions in the music category as well as the literature category. Could you tell us a bit more about that and also the response to it, Director Park? Yeah, so the, we uh, decided uh, to uh, have a competition with cash prize to incentivize American youth to participate in this program and learn about our culture. So music competition was started in 2004. Writing competition started uh, in 2006. We also have Sejong International Sejong competition. And uh, we put lots of effort in a Sejong education program. So uh, in terms of Sejong, the response from American teachers, students, and poets has been overwhelmingly positive. Many uh, ask, how can we never learn or heard about this fascinating poetry form? So they are uh, really uh, fascinated by the shijo with a mere 45 syllables, very short form, and it can convey a lot of stories and emotion. So uh, we, we get a lot of enthusiastic uh, response. And of course, having cash prize is also very good for students and teachers. It is only Koreans who say, oh, writing shijo must be very difficult. I, that was my response too, because we never learn how to write shijo in school. We only read works by famous uh, shijo poets. So American teachers often uh, said Shijo is a good tool in teaching word economy, syllable counts, among many other things, and introducing literature to uh, students who previously were not interested in poetry or other literature. So we, uh, from the beginning, we invested uh, significant efforts in developing the Shijo education program. So we focused on teacher education because often one public uh, high school teacher will teach 200 students. So, and also we want children to learn it at school because they really look up to the school teacher. So we, pro uh, we develop 
lots of uh, educational material and post it on our website. Uh, also, we organize many workshops and online Shijo classes. And also, also we uh, develop YouTube channel where uh, teachers can watch Shizhou lectures and also Shizhou class we videotaped in many high school where the Shizhou is taught. Director Park, staying with Shizhou, yes. is there any competition entry by participants with regard to Shizhou that grabbed your attention? Yeah, there are many uh, many uh, topics. We do not limit the topic. We just say, write one shijo in English on topics that you like. So uh, when the topics are really all kinds of uh, aspects of life and uh, the American children can write shijo. So I'm hoping that Korean children can also write shijo. Uh, and specifically the school teachers should teach uh, children as, uh, how to write Shijong. Right, of course. And along with literature, Professor Lee, the Sejong Cultural Society, as Director Park has mentioned, also seeks to promote Korean music using Western instruments. Now, the Sejong Cultural Society is hosting, I believe, a special concert next Sunday, and you are partaking in this event as a composer. What drove your decision to partake in this event? Oh, Sejong Cultural Society and Dr. Um, Lucy Bach have been encouraging me to take a part in the mission of uh, Sejon Culture Society, um, so advocating and um, promoting Korean culture and, and music. Meeting Dr. Lucy Bach and writing a piece for uh, Sejon Culture Society has been uh, important to my musical journey. Um, celebrating the 20th anniversary of Sejon Culture Society um, uh, concert is is um, to joy, such a bring to joy, it brings to, brings joy to remember the how. Sejong Culture Society have been doing for the mission, and I'm, I'm very honored to be a part of it. Right, 20th anniversary, of course, of its founding, that is. Could you tell us a bit more, Professor Lee, about your compositions for the concert mm -hmm. for next Sunday? Yeah. What were the challenges, perhaps, of trying to deliver Korean music <laughs> using Western instruments like the piano and the violin, as Director Park mentioned earlier? Yes, it, it is. It was, has been, um, it, it was very challenging because um, when, when Dr. Lucy Bach asked me to write a piece for um, Sejong Culture Society, she emphasized that the Korean folk tune has to be uh, recognizable so that the players can really learn and when they perform it, uh, learn and re remember the tunes. And so it, it's not just a concert, but it's uh, education. So it's Korean folk tunes, and then every folk tunes are very simple and uh, different. and. Um, a scale system um, f and from a Western instrument, Western um, music, and then writing for the p a violin and, and piano, it, I tried to find a way how I can make it the piece very refreshing to, to um, c carry the Korean um, folk tunes. Um, so it's, it's a, a very valuable to me that because it, it's, it, for the education for the uh, students and, and for the music that simply is virtue. So it, it was kind of fun and, and also challenging at the same time. I'm sure it was. How long did it take you to come up with the composition? You have two compositions for this particular concert? For the concert, yes. This one is for Taryong. It's, um, it's for the uh, bird song. It's based on uh, Se Taryong, bird song. And the other one is Taepyeongga. It's the version of Don't Worry and Be Happy. and um, so I tried to use the same tune, uh, the tunes and, and make it something a little bit of a um, different um, approach um, from the, what I have been writing for the other pieces. So it was also a kind of new endeavor for you as yes, well then? Yes, right. right. Director Park, this concert, as Professor Lee mentioned, comes as part of celebrations to mark the Sejong Cultural Society's 20th anniversary this year. How are the related preparations coming along, Director Park? And simply speaking, what does this concert seek to share? 
Yeah, the central theme of the concert is music with Korean theme. And this is a unique com combination of concert and symposium. So we have a keynote speaker who is David Ludwig, the dean of Juilliard uh, Music School. And he will speak on music with ethnic themes. The performers include past winners of Sejong music competition and a special guest, Kyung San Lee, the violin professor at Indiana University, and So Jung Hong, the piano professor at Joseon University, will also appear. So composers Eun Young Lee and Teddy Niedermeyer, Misu Kim, and Misha Zopko will be on stage and they will share insights about their music. And also a special guest, Robbie Ellis, the producer at WFMT, Chicago's classical music radio station, will also be a part of the panel discussion. So we will have panel discussion and question and answer along with the performance. And also, I want to ask uh, Professor Lee to comment on how she teaches the uh, her student to compose music with the Korean theme. So it's not just uh, the performers, but composers. We want to train the future composers to have some experience in uh, writing music with the Korean theme. Right then, before I give you my next question, then Professor Lee, perhaps you'd like to answer the question extended by Director Park. How do you seek to incorporate within your teaching of students the theme of Korean music? So um, writing for music with a, a foreign folk tune has been, have been um, in, in, you can find it in the music history for hundreds of years. For example, Bach used Gregorian chant and the Mozart is um, okay, oh, Austria composers. We know the oldest tune, the Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Actually, it is a French folk tune. And um, Beethoven wrote Turkish March. And also, uh, Olive, Olivier Messiaen is a French composer. He was interested in gamelian and timbres and rhythms, and also interested in uh, Japanese um, culture. So it, it Im embedded in their music. So I started to talk about, um, not, not because of my class, but it's, um, whenever I have a, a, uh, teach the class, and it's not only my class, but all the um, famous composers have pieces with using foreign folk tunes. So um, why, don't I, why don't we do that? Because I'm a Korean, so I can introduce the foreign folk tunes to you guys. Um, so I can send, um, I can share the, all the links and then um, we listen to it in the class, the classroom. Um, and, and I introduce the Stage and Culture Society's annual music annual competition. So if you write a piece for this, then um, you will, your piece will be performed by young musicians. And um, I believe introducing Korean culture and music should be broader educational goal beyond um, just performing a concert. So that's the, so something that Dr. Lucy Bach and I agree on. Um, so it's it's not just writing a piece, writing a, a, a performing music, but they they really uh, learn about other countries' um, folk tunes. For for myself, um, during study abroad, um, not learning American culture and music actually helped me to understand Korean culture and music and appreciate more, more than before. And I would love to have an opportunity that my students can learn about, also have that experience with, as I did it. And if it's really a priceless experience. And I encourage them to, um, not only that you're doing it with um, writing a piece for, um, for this Korean uh, Sejong Culture Society, but also you should do it with your, your country's folk tune. And then you will learn, um, knowing, you will learn, learn and, and understand them more and appreciate your culture even more. Right. So, yeah. Which is why this particular concert also includes a Q&A session, like Director yes. Park was saying, but yeah. with the composers and the audience. You'll be there to give a commentary. Right. <laughs> Could you tell us a bit more about that? Um, it's, um, so, it's 
you are talking about the... Um, the composers being there to exchange or to give their thoughts about the commentary with the audience. Uh, yes, uh, yeah, I think the, the composers who wrote the pieces for um, Sejong Culture Society, um, many of them are non-Koreans, and, and, and not only um, Koreans, and there are many, many of them are non-Koreans. So it, they also um, learn about Korean, Korean culture, Korean folk tunes, and I'm actually interested in how they approach to, to embed the, 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 um, using the Korean folk tunes and, into their music. So I'm very excited about it. That's a very interesting endeavor, probably. Yeah. Most very exciting, of course. Director Park, is the popularity of uh, K Entertainment, including its music and movies, have raised greater interest uh, in Korean culture around the world, of course. Has this also been the case with regard to the activities of the Sejong Cultural Society? Yes, yeah, certainly. I, I believe so. 20 years ago, when we started this project, the Korean music and literature were relatively unknown to many Americans. So we had to explain a lot. But today, thanks to Hallyu Wave, there is a widespread interest in exploring and appreciating Korean cultural facets. So we believe that uh, so although Hallyu was the main factor, but maybe we played a modest and me but meaningful role in increasing interest and understanding of Korean traditional culture. Right, of course, good to know. Professor Lee, what do you believe has been the role of music in perhaps advancing uh, greater awareness of Korean uh, culture to global audiences, very generally speaking? Um, I think... Um as Dr. Lucy Bach talk about the Hallyu's um, influence, and I think also it's not only music, but also also um, a movie, also food, and the exposure to a wider range of uh, um, culture, um, the, the wider range of the uh, the society and uh, world. And some students actually came to me that um, Professor Lee, have you ever seen this um, TV program, such and such? And then I have no idea about <laughs> this program, but they know about it. And I think um, I wanted to introduce that it's not only Hallyu or pop Korean pop music, which is more influenced by uh, American culture and Western culture, but there is a so, so many valuable Korean traditional music is in there. Uh, so I wanted to um, give them, give my students the opportunity to learn about um, Korean traditional music and traditional or literature, like Shijo. And so I feel I'm, I have a mission, like the same as Sejong Culture Society as, as a composer. Right, of course. Good to know, of course. Director Park, let's and then with a few words perhaps about your future endeavors at the Sejong Cultural Society. Yeah, we are committed to continue our program. So we hope for every school in the USA to incorporate teaching of Sejo into their curriculum. So uh, many Americans said, oh, I know a haiku and I've written haiku because they learned it at, Shijo, uh, at school. So I want to hear from American, oh, I know Sejo and have written one. So uh, that, that is uh, one of the goals. And uh, Shijo is not confined to Korean or English. Uh, I wrote a book, uh, Shijo, uh, Korea's Poetry Form. And uh, this book uh, has a chapter about Shijo written in other language. So we want to encourage people worldwide to embrace Shijo. And uh, by uh, the learning other culture, the, the fostering cross-cultural training and understanding, we hope to uh, contribute to harmonious coexistence of diverse cultures. So through such initiative, we aim to create a better world for our children. Great to know, of course, Director Park. And Professor Lee, what are your plans for this year as a composer to offer perhaps a greater, a bigger audience that is, a greater taste of Korea's traditional sounds? Um, I'm now I'm writing a piece for a bassoon and, and, and string quartet um, for with based on Korean 
folk tunes, both South and North Korean folk tunes. Um, it's sponsored by Guggenheim Fellowship. So we are trying to perform this piece in and, and several different um, venues in America and also in Korea. Um, it's, it, music might not be able to um, prevent the conflicts among nations, but I believe um, our imaginations and our vision can shape the, for the better future. Right, of course, Professor Park, of course. Thank you so much for your endeavors. And thank Director you. Park, thank you so much for your efforts there in the U.S. Thank you very much for the invitation. Most welcome. All right, then, that is all the time we have for this week's editions of Issues and Insiders. Thank you for watching. Have a great weekend.